Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. We're gonna jump into the motorcycle ride over to uh, the cemetery in just a few seconds. I wanted to introduce that on my ride over there, I was still confused about who uh, some of the family members were. Um, I even, you know, out loud was thinking about it and probably got some of the names wrong. But by the end of the video, we get it all straight uh, and confirmed from uh, some people from the Historical Society for the Cemetery. So I'll take you along. Just wanna introduce that as, if you go through here and you hear something that doesn't sound exactly right, it, it may not have been in the beginning, and that'll be self-explanatory, and it all gets straightened out at the end. Okay, see you on the road. Ramblin' Man Moto coming at you on my 2022 Indian Springfield. So where am I going to? So uh, I remember, I think as a teenager, reading a book, and... Um, that book just slipped into it that um, Robert E. Lee had a brother and a nephew buried in Powhatan County, Virginia, which is uh, kind of part of my childhood. And I remember reading and thinking, man, I drive by that church every day. I never remember stopping at the church to later check it out. I don't think I ever did. So I'm gonna go, uh, time permitting, see if I can swing by there and I don't think it's a ornate uh, grave for either one of them but uh, but I thought I'd use it as a quick trip out and back and the other thing that I uh, <laughs> I learned was um, you know in the historical information including the state tourism website the name of this church is St. Luke's Episcopal Church, and it would say that Lee had a nephew and a brother buried there. And uh, I could find the name of the brother pretty easily, uh, Charles, Charles Carter Lee, but it, I never saw the name of the nephew mentioned. So I used uh, chat GPT and typed in who was Robert E. Lee's nephews and uh, did a variation like that and uh, it spit back instantly that Robert E. Lee had a nephew of William, I think it was William, I think it was William Fitzhugh Lee. And I said, aha, I have caught AI mistake because it wasn't Lee's nephew that had this name. Lee had a son named Fitzhugh Lee. And I knew he was buried in Hollywood Cemetery. So I'm like, aha. But, you know, talk about nowadays, we might debate using the same first name as a family member. Well, it turns out that Lee had a son and a nephew named, I'm gonna have to double check if I get this wrong I'm writing, I can't read it. William Fitzhugh Lee. Stop the tape. I just want to clarify some confusion and I'll explain more later in the video. There are two Fitzhugh Lees in the Lee family line that I'll focus on for this. Uh, the first is on your left this was the governor of Virginia, and this was Lee's nephew, and um, this Fitzhugh Lee is buried in Hollywood Cemetery. And then on the right is Lee's son, Fitzhugh Lee, also known as Rooney Lee, and in my mind, I was thinking he was the governor, but I was wrong about that, and uh, he's not buried in Hollywood Cemetery. He is with Robert E. Lee in the tomb in Lexington, Virginia. He's uh, buried there. But going on this trip and having researched it, a number of different websites told me that Lee's nephew, Fitzhugh Lee, was buried in Powhatan. And uh, so let's press ahead with the trip. I just wanted to set the table here about why there was a little confusion on my part. So we're gonna ride out and see if we can locate the grave of Charles Carter Lee. Robert E. Lee's older brother, and William Fitzhugh Lee, Robert E. Lee's nephew.
Hey guys, Ramblin' Man here. So we're on the uh, ground here at, uh, at the church. And uh, I have to admit, I thought I knew where this church was. And I was off. This is not the uh, church I was thinking of. I thought there was another church further down on this road. And uh, I was wrong. So uh, this is St. Luke's. Um, This is along Route 711 in Powhatan, Virginia. And uh, I maybe should have pulled in a different way to get easier access to this graveyard, but we're gonna walk around here. I'm gonna turn this around for a minute. You can uh, see the graveyard right here. Guess that might have been a better parking lot to go in over there. St. Luke's Episcopal Church, built in 1844, is on the National Register of Historic Places. There was no map that I could find of the, uh, of the graves. So we're looking for uh, Charles Carter Lee, Charles Carter Lee and Fitchu Lee. Charles Carter Lee was born on November 8, 1798 and died March 21st, 1871, age 72. He settled on his farm, Windsor, at Fine, Creek's, Fine Creek Mills in Powhatan, which is just, just right down the road from here. Speaking of Windsor, this sign is just down the road noting that Robert E. Lee rode through here after he left Appomattox heading to Richmond. And he stopped here to visit his brother, who we're looking for, Charles Carter Lee, who lived nearby. Lee camped by the roadside the next day and then continued on to Richmond. I'm assuming this is locked. All right, so here we have a Charles Carter Lee. Let me make sure, is that the same? That's not the same. That's a different Charles Carter Lee. Stop the tape here. I noticed this when I was home watching the video. I learned after my visit, and you'll hear about this in a few minutes, that George Taylor Lee is actually the nephew we should have been looking for. This grave here is Robert E. Lee's nephew. But we seem to be in some Lees. I don't see any others. So guys, I'll just say that I thought this was gonna be easier to find once I got here. And I think I've walked the entire one, so obviously I'm going too fast and missing it. I'd also read in the far southeast corner, which would be over here, 
that there was a grave, and I don't know if this is it. No, I don't think so. There was a grave of an unknown person. And they said that they believe it was a traveling salesman that was found in this area, frozen in the snow. Well, here we go. This is the grave right here of Charles Carter Lee. We're near row 29 or spot 29. So this was Robert E. Lee's brother. Then we had Williams Carter Lee. I will have to look up what relation that was. That might have been his son, but I'm not sure that makes... No, no, no. Well, he didn't live long. So, Charles Carter Lee was born November 8th, 1798 in Westmoreland, Virginia. His father was Henry Lee III, and his mother was Ann Hill Carter. He married Lucy Penn Taylor on May 13th, 1847 in Westmoreland, and he lived in Richmond before settling down here, here in Powhatan, not here at this grave. It's interesting to think about, you know, the family that he came from, the Lee family, was so important in Virginia history, and his, you know, his brother is Robert E. Lee, and he, uh, Charles was the older brother. And um, pretty, like I said, when I read the book, I had no idea he was buried here. And if you look around, it's, it's not elaborate, right? It's, uh, it's simple. Hey, guys. So as we wrap up uh, the visit here, I'm confused about the nephew. Multiple sites reference the nephew being buried here including the Virginia Tourism site, but they never say his name. And um, when I looked up, it said William Fitzhugh Lee. When you go on Wikipedia, they have two William Fitzhugh Lees, which would make sense if what I said before was correct, that Robert E. Lee had a nephew and a son named William Fitzhugh Lee. But they show both of them being buried in Hollywood Cemetery, which is not correct. Well, at least not if one's buried here. And um, so I found a couple of sites that said Robert E. Lee had a nephew here, and it was that nephew. But the historical society for this graveyard has a little pamphlet, not a map, but a little pamphlet. And um, they, they reference Charles Carter Lee, Robert E. Lee's brother, but no mention is made of a nephew. And um, I may reach out to them and see if I can get a response, because um, I couldn't find it. Hey guys, I'm going to jump in here in the middle of my own video to provide an update because after I got home from this trip, I did email uh, two ladies that were listed as contacts for the Historical Society uh, for the cemetery. And I explained that, hey, I found Charles Carter Lee, but uh, multiple sites reference a nephew and they say William Fitzhugh Lee, which I don't think is right, but I couldn't figure out who the nephew is. And... Um, they were very nice and wrote back pretty quickly with a whole list of all the Lee people with the last name Lee. And, uh, but they didn't say who the nephew was aside from saying there's a lot of family members here and there could be great nephews and other nephews. But um, all the articles I saw were pretty specific. So I went through all the names that they gave me and found that, um, you know, Charles Carter Lee's grave we found and his wife right next to him. Well, their son, George uh, Taylor Lee, was right there in the same uh, area. Um, this is a picture of his grave from uh, the cemetery. And uh, of note uh, of their son was he was one of the, uh, he attended Virginia Military Institute, and he was one of the cadets that fought in the 1864 Battle of Newmarket. 
uh, he wasn't uh, killed, but uh, he did fight in that battle. And um, just an interesting uh, aside about that battle was um, uh, General Breckenridge was the Southern general in charge at that battle, and he really didn't want to use um, the VMI cadets. He said they would only be used for reinforcements last, you know, last call, just, you know, he didn't really want to use them. But it came, became clear there was a breach that he needed to fill. And um, his quote was along the lines of, put the boys in and may God forgive me for the order. Uh, I always thought that was a uh, very interesting, memorable quote. Um, so that's it. I just wanted to update. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't find that on site while I was there. So there is Robert E. Lee's brother and nephew and probably a lot more family members that are there as well. So that's the update. Well, I hope you enjoyed this visit to St. Luke's Episcopal Church in Palatine, Virginia. See you on the road.